Welcome back to the Zappoli Statement Builder for Storyline walkthrough videos. In this video, we're going to look at the simplest publication case for your Storyline course, Publishing for Tin Can. This option applies if you're going to upload your course into an LMS which has an LRS or is set up with an LRS already. The XAPI statements will almost seem to be communicated by magic. Since the LMS knows the actor and LRS info, you don't need to specify endpoint, secret, key, or any kind of auth data. The LMS will tell Storyline when it starts, and Zappoli will get that information from Storyline. Let's get started. Here I am back in Storyline. In the last video, I added triggers to a couple of slides where I wanted to get more specific info, and now I'm ready to publish. On the menu bar, I go to File, then Publish. The Publish dialog appears. In this case, when the dialog appears, it's already on the LMS tab on the sidebar. I change the course title, and then I change the output option for LMS to Tin Can API. Now I click the Reporting and Tracking button. For Identifier, I'm going to add an IRI. It looks like a web address, but it doesn't have to be an actual web page. Instead, it communicates some information about the course identity in a hierarchy. I leave everything else here the same. Under Tracking, I have a few important options. I can decide the learner has completed the course when they've seen all or a required number of slides, or based on a quiz result, which is grayed out here because this course has no quizzes, or based on a storyline trigger that I insert somewhere else in the course. Again, it's grayed out here because this course doesn't have one. Now I click OK to close reporting and tracking, and then the Publish button. While that's churning away, I jump back to Zappoli just for one piece of information. I click the Publishing tab, and I make sure that I'm in the Course Within LRS, which is the Tin Can option. You'll notice there are two methods here. Most users are fine with the simpler first method, so we're going to stick to that in this video. All I need is this bit of code. So I select it, and then I copy. When I flip back to Storyline, it's finished publishing. I click Open to see the published files. For a Tin Can published course, I'm going to need to edit the story underscore HTML5 dot HTML5 file and I need to do this every time I republish. It needs that line of code I just copied. I right click on the story underscore HTML5 file and click open with the editor of my choice. If you don't have a code editor on your computer, you will still be able to edit in Notepad. I scroll to the bottom and find the last of the script tags generally right before the slash body tag. I click at the end of the last script tag, press enter, and I paste that code I copied from Zappoli here. I save the file, and that's done. Your uploading process is going to vary by LMS, so I'm going to skip that portion. Let's see the content in action. Using my LMS, I've already launched my course. I'm going to jump ahead to slide 7, which is where we've got that verb chart, and I'm going to open up the chart. When it opens, the 1x API statement from Zappoli is generated. Back in my course, I'm going to skip ahead to the comment slide. I'm going to type a comment. I'm going to submit it. I should probably have some feedback here, but hey, this isn't a storyline design course. We're looking at Zappoli. That statement has also been sent. Again, I'll skip through the specifics of getting the statements from your LRS. That will vary by vendor. Here are the statements that I generated, though. Notice these experience statements. We didn't add those with Zappoli. That's part of the tin can publishing from Storyline. The launched statement comes from my particular LMS, which provided that when I launched the course, picking up the ID from Storyline. These are the statements that I added, though. Here's the downloaded statement. You'll notice it's referring to this reference chart. The verb that I chose downloaded, 
and it's also got that course category that I added in Zappoli. Here's the commented statement. You'll notice that the object or the activity is slide 19 enter comments, but it did capture my comment as the response. You may also notice that Zappoli has automatically added the course as a grouping to both of these statements. The actor information here came from the LMS through Storyline. So that's it. Across these three walkthrough videos, we've built statements in Zappoli, Statement Builder for Storyline. We've added them to the e-learning tool. And then we published, looking at the statements that actually reach the LRS from our e-learning. This has been a quick introduction to Zappoli Statement Builder for Storyline. We'll be adding more content to the site over time. We hope that Zappoli is a useful tool for you, and we welcome your feedback through the Contact Us section of the website. Thanks for watching.